Welcome to the Vintage Denim Heat Check. This is the highest selling vintage denim on eBay over the last two weeks. Now powered by WeBuyOldJeans.com. Let's get into the list. So for our honorable mention today, we have this 1950s, 60s Wrangler baby denim trucker jacket. Take a look at this. Those pockets basically fill up the entire torso. Um, here, I forget exactly what... Uh, they call these uh, regular jackets with the uh, rivets here uh, over the pleats. The, this would normally be like on a uh, Levi's denim jacket would have been like stitched across the pleats. But here they have these uh, rivets or buttons on them. Um, it's like eight dot or something like that. I forget what it is. But here it's six dots either on either side. Uh, there's only uh, four buttons total. But this was a size two obviously for a ch very small child. Uh, these are really rare because they just didn't produce that many of them. It wasn't that necessary for babies to have denim jackets at the time. It was probably slightly just a novelty. Um, you can see there's a little bit of corrosion on here, but this one did just fine. Just fine. It didn't make the top 10, but uh, selling for $560 seems like a pretty big win with, uh, uh, with just a little baby jacket like this. It does have some damage. Either way, really cool, interesting piece here for the honorable mention this week. Then at number 10, we have a Lee denim jacket. This one is super cool. Love the history and the uh, design work on this. Uh, obviously, sometimes this type of design work doesn't help the value of a jacket. In this case, I'm not sure it did or not, but um, still really interesting with the 1959 Frontier Fiesta. We have a uh, 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 fraternity of some sort. Uh, we have this. It says it's 1959, which is pretty pretty incredible for the condition that this is. Is the 101J. Let's take a look at some of the details. Look at that label. It's like this has never been worn. Um, and it's a size 40, which is a really good size, um, generally speaking. Looks like it's in pristine condition. We have all of this. Let's even get a closer look. All this uh, vintage chain stitching, which is also pretty uh, desirable and in demand. Uh, there's like very little wear. Let's take a look down the line here. Yeah, very little wear on this jacket. Probably wasn't worn, obviously, all that much. Here you can see some wear where it's creased. Now, this is probably just from age, not necessarily from like being worn there, to be to be honest. Um, but you do have a good size, uh, 42 across, uh, which is hard to come by. And always a, a, a good sign uh, for good for a good price. This one starting us off, kicking us off today, went for fourteen sixty nine forty four uh, for the ten spot. So you can only imagine what we're going to end up at towards the end of this list. Next, we have our staple here. We have some nineteen sixties Levi's five hundred one Big E red line denim jeans. Let's take a look. Yeah, we have the 60s. We have a. We can see that we have the. Uh, we have a V stitch there uh, on the buttons. But look at all this paint. Uh, this could be considered a feature, or it could be considered a uh, a defect. It's, it probably depends on who you are. Uh, not as much on the backside. Otherwise, the color on this jacket, as far as the indigo and the denim is concerned, is really good, really beautiful. There's the big E. Pretty tore up. Uh, there's the uh, V stitch, both sides. Let's take a look. Does that have stamp? Stamp the six. Yeah, I think it's a six. Um, let's take a look. This is probably late 60s. Yeah, you don't see the hidden rivets, so we're looking at a like 67 to 71 era uh, pair of Levi's. Uh, to be honest, I am a little bit surprised at the price here, considering all of the paint. Most likely, someone would have had to consider this a feature not a defect uh, it does have the it does have the s over the 501 which is a little, makes it a little bit more rare obviously uh, they'd only use this sort of grading system at least what we assume is a grading system for a short period of time in the late 60s uh, so uh, yeah a little bit more uh, reasonable here uh, but this one went for fifteen hundred and twenty five dollars with 20 bids and look at that shipping oh my gosh uh, i'm assuming i don't know why that shipping is so crazy high um, Deep Sea here only has one sale, and I wonder if it's this one. Um, yeah, I don't know why that shipping will be so, so, so crazy high. Maybe it's just crazy insured. It probably doesn't need that much insurance. Uh, but anyway, either way, really cool uh, piece of uh, denim right here. Uh, we see these all the time, but we don't often see the ones with the S, so it's pretty cool. 
All right, next up we have a Type 2 501. Next up we have a Type 2 507 XX jacket here, uh, whose primary photo is like really unusual <laughs> for primary photo. Typically you don't lead with the measurements, but unless the measurements are crazy, and these are not really that crazy, it's, you know, 38. Um, uh, the, the sort of lead photo would be down here. Um, jacket looks like it's in good condition. Looks like it's pretty clean. Got plenty of color left. Uh, there's measurements literally everywhere all over here. Um, probably a little bit out of order. Um, looks like they may have accepted, I'm not sure this thing ran its entire length of, uh, of the auction. Uh, they may have got an offer for what they were hoping to get at 1800 uh, and just took it. But that's what it did sell for us, 1800 with one bid. And sometimes when that's with just one bid, it typically, it often means it's just a, a offer accepted. So um, either way, we do see these a lot. Uh, this one is sort of run of the mill that we typically see. Uh, the price actually is, is not too bad. Uh, pretty decent price here uh, for something that looks like it's in pretty, uh, pretty good condition. So uh, congratulations. Then the next two jeans actually sold by the same person, uh, Trich. Uh, sold both these next two jeans. Here we have the 1940s Levi's 501 XX leather patch selvage. I'm not so sure that these are 40s. I haven't really looked close enough to to be certain. Uh, I'd want to see what how many sides that Levi's uh, tab has, but I don't think they actually show that in the photos. They showed this side, but I don't necessarily show the other side, so uh, not really sure. But it does have a leather patch. If I can find it here, there's this hidden rivets. If I can find it here somewhere, uh, it would have. Well, I don't know why they cover up with that blue tag, uh, unless that was attached there. I'm not really sure what that's about. Not sure what that's about, but still, these are very old Levi's, certainly from approximately that that era. Um, and beautiful and pretty good condition obviously somewhere but looks like there's plenty of color there there's some stains obviously but they look worn in a really cool way uh, so these were awesome they sold for two thousand dollars but don't um, change that dial because we're about to see another one and here we go with the other one also sold by Trich right here uh, basically the same pair but in better condition a lot less wear there's some wear down at the the, the the ankles but nothing crazy uh, let's take a look yep beautiful color again similar got that single fell on the top let's take a look at the back we got that centered um, belt loop you can see those hidden rivets uh, wearing through the back so these were actually used there here we actually have a remnant of the leather patch in this case so it uh, definitely gives us um, uh, an idea that these were earlier than the mid 50s um, or most likely earlier than the mid 50s uh, this one obviously because it's in better condition sold for a little bit more this one sold for two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars then we have this rare big e s type transition red line this is a transition in the late 60s into the early 70s this pair is a beautiful super deep color maybe a one wash who knows uh, looks like they tried to make they cut out the background didn't really work that well sometime that, that definitely that, feature is pretty annoying uh, but here you can see oh well let's see that one right here beautiful color unbelievable color good size uh, 31 32 something like that by 29 uh, see here we do not have the hidden rivets anymore we have um, bar tags which is one of the transitions here uh, we have that big E a beautiful again again and again uh, no patch on this one uh, I don't know if it was removed it looks like it's possibly removed you can see some stitching uh, missing there from the top line there uh, but anyway, beautiful pair of jeans uh, in near dead stock condition. Uh, these definitely deserve the price that they got, and they went for $2,499. Do you have a vintage denim that you are looking to sell? Maybe you need it appraised, or maybe you just need a little bit more information about the garment you have. Well, we recommend WeBuyOldJeans.com. These guys are the best in the business, in my opinion. They offer the best prices and have the most knowledgeable information and experts at their fingertips, and they offer unmatched service in the industry. So whether you're looking for a free appraisal, maybe you're looking just to offload some denim, or maybe just a little bit of information, WeBuyOldJeans.com is the place for you. 
Next up, we have our first Type 1 506XX denim jacket here. Look at the color on this one. It is beautiful. You can see there's the remnants of the leather patch that has sort of been jerkified. Uh, I mean, largely this is, looks fantastic just because the, the, the condition is beautiful. Um, there's almost nothing to complain about in terms of of wear and tear or anything outside of the leather patch i suppose otherwise it looks beautiful let's see if does it get this a size yeah so the chest is kind of small we're looking more like a 39 inch total chest so on the smaller side but this is pretty normal pretty average for the uh, for these jackets it looks like the pleats are largely intact very little wear beautiful jacket this one did go for two thousand six hundred and thirty dollars all right, at number three, we have these unworn, dead-stocked World War II U.S. Army denim buckle-back jeans. This is unbelievable. Um, dated 1937, so these would be uh, well before World War II. Uh, look at the sharp lines and like rigid denim on these suckers. Uh, we have uh, an inspection. So it's like almost inconceivably good condition. Um, those big old pockets and there doesn't seem to be a, a rivet in sight just all bar tacks uh, uh, but they still do have a buckle back nonetheless on the inside look at that we have the button flies they have apparently let's see they have zinc copper buttons yeah with the zinc copper buttons or the zinc buttons let's see what they say yeah uh this is yeah it has the zinc army dish buttons yep um so unbelievable here uh, really incredible find in this condition. You just don't find it. It's really cool to see this on the list. I mean, look at that. how meant that is. It's almost this is almost too good to be true. <laughs> so, eh, almost too good to be true. Uh, I mean, I don't think it looks like they've done their they've done their uh, they've done their research. So they're pretty confident these are not uh, some sort of uh, uh, repro or anything like that. But these did sell for thirty five hundred dollars. Incredible pair of jeans here. Uh, I'm glad to see this make the list. All right, then at number two, I would have never guessed we had this big Smith jacket ever make a heat check list, but we did today. We have this big Smith denim shore coat, barn coat, whatever. Uh, new uh, old stock, made in USA, obviously, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Uh, what a jacket. Uh, look how look at the clean lines on this thing. It, it looks absolutely brand new uh, Let's take a look at the oh, look at those look at that detail. Love that stitching. It's beautiful stitching Big Smith buttons and yeah, Big Smith right there. I mean Exceptional quality build quality here. Look at that. Wow incredible uh, Don't ask me how old this is because I have not a buff on Big Smith uh, but I imagine we're looking at something like pre-war or war time. I don't think we'd see this in the 50s. Uh, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Uh, either way, incredible. It's also no, uh, worth noting the armpit to armpit is 27 inches. We're talking like an absolute massive jacket. One of the biggest jackets we've seen on this list to date. Um, uh, exceptional piece, obviously in exceptional condition, and went for an exceptional price. Uh, the realized price on this one was four thousand one hundred and sixty-one dollars with thirty-three bids. Uh, absolutely gorgeous and fascinating jacket. Then at number one, we have a Type One, and I'll have to stop us here for just a minute because while technically this piece of denim is the highest selling vintage denim piece on eBay over the last two weeks. There is one other denim item that sold very recently uh, that is worth more than all of these items on the list combined. And I was able to be part of that purchase. And I will be dropping a video all about this denim piece uh, later this week. So stick around, pay attention. Uh, because it's going to be wild. Anyway, this one was fantastic. Look at this uh, Type 1 denim jacket. We've seen these a million times. Uh, but this one is in exceptional condition. Beautiful colors. The denim is super rich. 
and uh, deep d blues. I think maybe a little bit of wear, maybe on the left arm. Uh, let's take a look at some of these. Look how look how deep blue, uh, indigo blue we have on those jackets. There's that selvage. Uh, take a look at these arms. Looks like the arms may have been folded back or folded under at some point. Uh, but they were probably released from a ham or something like that. Just they were constantly folded by the previous owner. Uh, but that seems to be the only main wear here. Uh, let's take a look. The measurements on this thing. Pit to pit is 20 inches, which is which is a great size, uh, uh, a much more wearable size. Um, beautiful jacket. We have seen these jackets go for a lot of money. Uh, this one is no exception. Uh, this type one is a beauty and it did sell for six thousand five hundred dollars to take the number one spot this week on this week's heat checklist but remember one is coming that is even greater than this so pay attention we'll see you guys next week peace